Have you ever made a movie for more than 250000 No. Wow, okay. No. And have people said, there's just no way you're going to do this then? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, I talk to people all the time who are experienced who, you know, micro budget to them is half a million. A uh, quarter of a million is kind of like, that's the lowest they'll go. Uh, and they just can't conceive of it. I mean, if I priced out my movies for what, you know, they, they would cost under normal circumstances, then I would say, yeah, I'd hit a quarter of a million, half, half a million every time. Um, but, you know, we just, we, we plan smart and we shoot, you know, the scenes that we need to shoot and we work within our limitations and embrace them. Um, so, I mean, I've had, uh, I can't tell you like how many times, <laughs> I don't think I've had a film shoot, even with pickups go past 16 days. Uh, most of it, I mean, our last film we shot principal in, uh, I think it was 10 or 11 days and then did two, two days of pickups. Um, we just were a very efficient group. We didn't work over 14 hours that I can recall. Um, if we did, it may have been one day. Most of it's 12, uh, 12, 13, everybody gets fed. You know, you just, you just roll with it. Um, but yeah, I, I would love to. I'd love to have a quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could probably now, when you read this script, when you say what's more important, the, or what do you do first, the, the script or the budget, so you can probably see red flags like, oh, this is gonna really cost. Or this is great, it's going to keep it down. Yeah, and, that, and then that's a conversation with the writer. You have to talk to him and say, hey, you know, do we want to, are you open to the idea of changing this given the, given the resources we have financially? Because, you know, we kind of did a, an analysis, general over analysis, and it's going to take this many number of days to shoot. So it's got fixed costs in there. You know, daily rates for everybody, putting people up. Then we've got, you know, whatever other things we have to do, how many actors we have to bring in, that kind of thing. And, and, and you should fight for a compromise, but it's one that is a shared vision as opposed to you're right and they're wrong. So, but when I read scripts today, um, I'm definitely looking at that and I'm like just seeing it add up and I'm like, okay, locations, days, you know, there's ways that you can do some bringing consolidation and stuff like that. So it's not all like, you know, when you're reading in the full story, you just go, oh, there's only like four locations here, four main locations, that's easy. Makes it look like it moves around a little bit more. You know, that kind of stuff. And it's just, I don't determine my working on something in terms of what budget uh, I'm gonna do it at first, right? But I'm gonna assess it from a story level and see what are the story points that we need to hit that you know, maybe we don't have a chase scene, or if we have a chase scene, we shoot it a certain way. So like the, the chase scene in our movie, when, you know, he goes to pick up the girl and they shoot. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, I would have loved to have done a whole bunch of other stuff there, but that's, it, and it, it still worked. It still worked, but I had to do, you know, certain angles and, and, and you know, just to sell the idea. And, and in, the, in the editing room, you know, Edgar knew this, but when he was shooting it, and then they had storied, you know, they had done the shot list out. They figured that we can make it, we can sell this in a day. We can do all of that in one day, in a, actually a half a day. We shot that entire uh, chase and rundown scene in a half a day and it, and it, and it worked. So um, yeah, you get, there's, there's ways to get around it, but you just have to be creative. Is your goal moving forward to go past a $250,000 budget or are you, content staying here and knowing that I'm going to tell stories that I want to tell. We're going to find financing our way um, and, and not be beholden to more money, more problems. <laughs> more money, more problems. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's really like if there's something that comes along that I'm really passionate about and, you know, I see that we can do it for X and I'm like, okay, are we, do we want to do this? Do we, do we want to do it without a script supervisor and a first AD? I mean, Edgar does that, you know, as, while he's directing. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's the hard part. But in reality, it's not about like, no, we've graduated this level and now I can't, you know, I've never looked at it that way. I just roll up my sleeves. I, I do wardrobe. I do uh, props. I'm doing, you know, like doing everything wherever there's a hand that's needed, right? And it's not because I love doing that, but it's needed. Otherwise, I gotta come up with that cash for somebody else to do it. Um, so, in short, 
yes, I would like more money because I'd like to give the time that we would love to have where we could do, you know, all of the things that we have to cut out in editing because we didn't have enough time or we didn't get the actor to be able to get to that, that you know, we didn't have the time to get the actor to be able to get to that, that level that we wanted and we, had to, we only had a certain number of takes that we could do for that shot because of the limitations of the budget and time. So these are the things that you have to plan out and know what you're doing in order to execute that and still get a good you know, finished product. But money doesn't always solve that. So if, it, if it's the crux of the issue is money, then I think you're gonna fail. If it's innovation and knowing what your resources are and where you need to put them, you know, what scenes you need to focus on. So as a director, if you're focused on getting Academy Award winning moments every single take and every single scene, you're going to be in deep trouble because, because in reality you have certain story points where you definitely need to work with the actor and you definitely need to build that up because at the story, the point at where you're at in the story is very important because you're coming to the end of the film where everybody is, is writing now in that, you know, they've, they've followed the, the first and second act. Now we're in the home stretch and everything has to pay off. So you don't want to compromise where you have to, you know, go, oh my God, I spent all of my time up front here, front loaded in the story where I really needed to be the most impactful is in this area where I'm seeing the revelations and all of the, you know, all of the turns that are coming, all the structure that we talk about in the screenwriting, all of that has to hit. So you have to make choices because of the limitations. If you have more money, you can, you can just expand on that. It gives you more breathing room, gives you other personnel to come in to take the, the concentration of a director and just focus it solely on the actors, not having to think about the schedule, not having to think about you know, where we are in the script, the continuity, that kind of stuff. It, it, it's, it's really remarkable. I mean, I, I know it's when people see our films and they go, my God, I can't believe you guys did that with such a small crew and so many few days and so little money. Um, that didn't just happen. It was because it was planned. And I give a lot of that credit to Edgar because he's really great with that. I mean, he, out of necessity, he's had to do it. But the only reason why I would want more money is so that his entire focus could be working with the actors, getting him to the emotional beats that he, that, he, that he really is like desiring because he knows he gets excited by the potential of what he's seeing come out and come through and working with them. And, and it's a trust. And it's just such a beautiful thing. I mean, as a producer, I, I may never direct a movie, but I can always enjoy the trust between an actor and a, and a director working together. And I want to finance that potential. I want to make sure that that money is put in the, in the appropriate places to get the maximum impact so that when the audience sees it, they're like, whoa, they're blown away. Like that was a great performance. That was real. That was, I, I felt I was there. That's what I'm going for. So if it comes at like 30,000 or 50 or 100 or 200 or whatever it is, or millions more, the same, the same result should, should occur. If, if you do everything correctly, if you, if you follow what your passions are, you do all those points that I talked about, I don't think you can fail. Um, you're going to learn a lot. You may make mistakes, but I don't think you will fail. I think you'll stumble. You'll stumble forward to the finish line with a, with a, a very good product that uh, can be enjoyed not only through the journey of doing that project, but by the people who are then going to receive it and see it and, and take something from it.